With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, a pendulum clock gives correct time at 20 degrees Celsius at a place where acceleration due to gravity g is 9.8 meter per second square. The pendulum consists of a light steel rod connected to a heavy ball. It is taken to a different place where acceleration due to gravity is 9.78 meter per second square. At what temperature will it give the correct time? The coefficient of linear expansion of steel is 12 into 10 raised power minus 6 per degree Celsius. Okay, so what is given in the question that a pendulum clock gives the correct time at temperature 20 degrees Celsius. Correct time at temperature of 20 degree Celsius. Okay where the acceleration due to gravity is given as 9.8 meter per second square. Now, this pendulum clock is taken to another place where the acceleration due to gravity is 9.788 meter per second square. Okay. So, what we have been asked in the question that at what temperature in the new place that it will give the correct time. Okay. So, the condition given in the question is the correct time let us suppose t in the first place will be equals to t in the second place correct now the time period for a pendulum clock as we know is given as 2 pi under root l by g where l is the length of pendulum clock okay so let us suppose that the length of pendulum clock at t is equals to 20 degrees celsius let length of pendulum clock or pendulum at temperature of 20 degrees celsius as l and at t dash or the temperature at the new place will be as l dash okay now so the time period will be given as 2 pi under root l by g and the time period in the new place will be given as 2 pi under root L dash by G dash. Correct. From here, 2 pi and 2 pi got cancelled out and the power will be also cancelled out. So, what we will get finally is L by G will be equals to L dash by G dash. Correct. From here, what we get is G dash upon G into L is equals to L, L dash. Now, using the concept of thermal expansion, what we can say is L dash will be L into 1 plus alpha times delta T. Correct. If, if there is a temperature variation, then there will be expansion or contraction in the pendulum. Okay. And the expansion or the contraction in the pendulum will be given by this expression. Correct. Now, from here, L and L got cancelled out. The value of G dash is given to us is 9.7, 9.788 and the value of G is given as 9.8 meter per second square. Correct. From here, 1 plus alpha of steel is given as 12 into 10 raised power minus 6 into delta T. Correct. So, on solving this, what we get is delta T as minus of 102.04. Correct. So, delta T will be the final or the temperature or the in the second place minus temperature in the first place that is 20 degree Celsius will be equal to minus 102.04 correct from here we get the final temperature as or the temperature in the new place as minus 82.04 degree celsius or what we can say is t2 is minus 82 degree celsius okay so the temperature at the new place where the pendulum clock has been taken is minus 82 degree celsius okay when the pendulum clock will give the correct Tem correct time okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today